Hello, good morning. Kumusta mga kapatid? It is a great day. And because it's a great day, we know that we have a great God who will be doing great things in and through our lives by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yun, we thank God He has given us another day for us to just experience ano yung great things which God has stored for us. Okay, and we can do that in our lives, through our lives, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And to start this day, to listen to the voice of our shepherd. And this time, it's taken from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 11, beginning with verse 27. Now they came again to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him and began saying, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do these things? And Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question, and you answer me, and then I will tell you by what authority I do these things. It was the baptism of John from heaven. Or from men? Answer. Then they began reasoning among themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? But shall we say from men? They were afraid of the people, for everyone considered John to have been a real prophet. Answering Jesus, they said, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Nor will I tell you by what authority I do this thing. And he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard and put a wall around it, and dug a vat under the wine press and built a tower and rented it out to the wine growers and went on a journey. At the harvest time, he sent a slave to the wine growers in order to receive some of the produce of the vineyard from the wine growers. They took him and fit him and sent him away empty handed. Again he sent them another slave, and they wounded him in the head, and treated him shamefully. And he sent another, and that one, killed. And so with many others, beating some and killing others. He had one more to say, a beloved son. He sent him last of all to them, saying, They will respect my son. But those vine growers said one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and the inheritance would be ours. So they took him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. Now what will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the vine growers and will give the vineyards to others. Have you not even read this scripture? The stone which the builders rejected, this became the chief cornerstone. This came about from the Lord, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they were seeking to seize him, and yet they feared the people, for they understood that he spoke the parable against them. And so they left him and G and went away. Church, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Lord Christ. Now, brethren, this passage talks about Christ being cornered again by the religious leaders and they were questioning by what authority did Christ do all those things. This uh, religious leaders would like to find answers not because they're curious but they want to trap Jesus in one way or another so that they can seize him. That's the reason why Christ shared the parable. Okay? To tell them that he knew their plot. They knew how they wanted to seize him. But because of fear from the people who follow, were following Jesus, they could not do so. And so they are trying to figure out what question they could come up so that uh, they could trap Jesus. But this is the wisdom of God in Jesus. 
when he was being asked by a question, he would throw them back another question, in which they could no longer answer. In this particular question, Christ said, Okay, I will answer your question, but be sure to answer this first. Then he began asking, By what authority? Or from which, where, where does the authority of John So, could it be from heaven or from men? He knew the heart of these religious leaders. That's why he asked this question. I said, come to think of this, no, if they would answer from heaven, they could not accept that because that was their pride. Okay? They could not accept that the authority of John from God. On the other hand, they could not say coming from men because that's what they really do. They, they just come from men. However, because they are afraid of the people, they could not answer that. So they were trapped in their, in their situation and they do, did not have the wisdom that Christ had. They could not answer. Okay. But what is this wisdom? Okay, like what Father Roberto shared to us. Where do we get the wisdom? From the word of God. Had they gone back to the word of God, to the scriptures, they would be able to answer it. Okay, Without being afraid of the people and setting aside their pride, they would be able to give the right answer. Definitely, the authority came from God. And it, as much that they could not accept that, but because their basis is the scripture, they should be able to accept that that is the fact. And because of that, they would be able to answer Jesus. But what hindered them from giving the right answer? It was their pride, pride and it was their fear of the people. Okay, pride because they had this thought, you know, they came, the thought came from, uh, from men. But because they are afraid of the people, they couldn't answer that to Jesus. You know? Had they been set free from the the pressure coming from the people and even pressure from within themselves and the pride and just hold fast to the word of God, then they would be able to get the answer that is like from Jesus. But after all, it's not really the one that they're seeking. No, They're just seeking something to, to seize Jesus, to, to put him to, to court. No? They're trying to figure out, okay, so it was a wrong move on their part. But what could we learn from these uh, religious leaders? Okay, When we choose to answer something, let's draw it from the word of God. Not from what we know, not from out of our pride, or from the pressure of the people would be an answer to try to solve a problem. Okay, Instead, we draw the solution from God's word, from the principle of God. Questions we ask definitely will get the answers from God's word. Not from what people would say, not from what we think, but from what God has to say. Sometimes we, we are into a situation we do not know what to do. Okay? Whether we choose A or B or C or D, we do not know what to do. We go back to the scriptures and we choose the wisdom of God. We are not to be affected by what people are saying. We are not to be affected by their pressure on us. We are not to be afraid of what 
even ourselves are saying, but rather we are to be affected by one, the Word of God. Because the Word of God is our authority. The Word of God is our wisdom. So, brothers and sisters, as we face this great new day, we have the wisdom of God, thank God, and we will be able to do wisely in whatever situation we are in. All we need to do is ask that, Lord, give the wisdom in this particular situation and believe that we have the wisdom. So have a great day. God is good. Thank God we are blessed. Thank you.